more than 6000 meters square per second means more dispersion and less air pollution potential in that area now we will be talking about the plume behavior of the smoke which can also be seen like that how the plume which are emitted from the chimney of the or the stacks of the different kind of industries how they behave in the environment when environment is stable unstable or neutral or conditionally stable that how they behave so basically we observe some five kind of plume behaviors which are first fanning plume second looping plume third coning plume fourth fumigation plume and fifth is lofting plume so we will be talking about these plumes in detail one by one so let's talk about first about the fanning plume so as you can show see that the picture we have shown in our literature where we have shown in the case of fanning plume we have generally stable condition an environmental lapse rate is less than dry adiabatic lapse rate which indicate the stable or absolutely stable condition and this time of plume behavior can be observed in early morning or late night therefore at the time radiative cooling is more when air parcel tends to remain at its original position and generally fanning sort of plume is observed and remember this thing it is observed in early morning in stable condition these are the things which examiner asks. Then we talk about looping plume. So the loops are formed when the smoke travel. This is generally observed in unstable condition where we see that environmental lapse rate is more than dry adiabatic lapse rate. So generally looping plume is observed in unstable condition where ELR is more than DLR. This plume can be observed in afternoon because noon or afternoon the atmosphere is unstable and the air parcel mixes thoroughly upward as well as downward and this vertical air movement upward and downward produces a looping plume means when the smoke will move up and down then it will produce big loops so that's why the name is looping plume next is coning plume it's a very interesting kind of plume which is observed in the case of when the environment is neutral where environmental lapse rate is equal to a dry adiabatic lapse rate and this is also referred to as symmetrical plume as also shown in the figure that DLR is equal to ELR next come the fumigation bloom so in case of fumigation bloom we observe that the stack is under an inversion layer means there will be an inversion layer formed above the stack emissions moves downwards more easily than upward that resulting in fumigation plume and this can also lead greatly elevated down in ground level concentration of pollutant because the inversion layer as you can see is formed above the stack or you can see that the mixing height is above the stack so this sort of conditions we observe fumigation plume now last but not the least type of plume is lofting plume where you can clearly observe in the picture then the stack is above the inversion layer so the stack height is more than the inversion layer and mixing height in the upward direction is uninhibited or non-stop but downward motion is greatly restricted by the inversion layer because there will be inversion layer so pollutant cannot move down and the stack is above the inversion layer so by the inversion layer downwind and this is very much safe for downwind habitats so this lofting plume is a sort of safe condition for the downwind habitat which will not be exposed to more pollution load that's why chimney are made taller so in that case the chimney will always be above the inversion layer and uh, above the inversion layer if they, they are there and you can see that like uh, upward the pollution can move but downward will not move because the inversion layer is formed below the stack and the stack is above the inversion layer or you can see in the other words so lofting plume is observed hope you 
understand 